Science 4. Interactions in a Terrestrial Ecosystem. Objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to Tell what interaction in animals mean. Identify the different interactions in an ecosystem. And describe some types of beneficial and harmful interactions among living things. Analyze the picture shown. Can you describe the interactions that happen between these animals? An interaction is a relationship between organisms that can affect their growth, survival, and reproduction. Interactions may be expected of organisms that belong to the same species but is also demonstrated by organisms of different species. Ecologists, or scientists who study the relationships of organisms with their environment, classify these relationships in terms of how they benefit or harm the species of organisms involved in the interactions. Look at the picture again. Which interactions are useful to the organisms involved? Which ones are considered to be harmful? There are many biological interactions that can be observed in an ecosystem. The general classifications include competition, symbiosis, and mutualism. Competition is an interaction in which organisms fight with one another over important things such as food to survive. It happens because living things struggle to obtain resources, such as food, water, oxygen, space, nutrients, minerals, and shelter, for their survival. Competition among animals happen for the following reasons. They have limited water and food resources. They want the same mate during the breeding season. They share the same habitat. They try to defend or establish their living space or territory. When competing, the stronger animal wins. The weaker one gets killed or chased. For example, plants compete for sunlight, water, nutrients, and space. Competition among them becomes more intense if more plants grow in an area. Another example is when the lions in the forest would compete with hyenas and other wild animals for food. Predation is a kind of interaction where a stronger or bigger animal hunts or kills other animals for food. That animal is called a predator. The animal that is killed and eaten is called a prey. Look at the pictures. Can you tell which of the animals is the predator and which is the prey? The cat and the eagle are the predators while the mouse and the rabbit are the preys. In an ecosystem, the interaction between organisms that live together and benefit one another or only one or a few of those involved is called symbiosis. It has three kinds, mutualism, commensalism, and parasitism. From the word mutual, this interaction means partnership or working hand in hand. Mutualism is the interaction where organisms benefit from one another. Look at the picture. A bee is sucking the nectar of a flower. Nectar is the bee's food. As the bee sucks the nectar, the pollen of the flower attached to the hair on the bee's body. As it goes from one flower to another, it helps the flowers pollinate by transferring and exchanging pollen. Thus, this interaction is good for both the bee and the plant. When an organism gains from another who does not get affected at all, the interaction is called commensalism. Look at the picture. The birds live on the tree. They benefit from the tree without affecting or damaging it. In this relationship, the tree is the host or the organism that provides help. The birds are the commensals or the organisms that benefit. Another kind of a symbiotic relationship is parasitism. Parasitism is a relationship between two different kinds of organisms where one benefits by harming the other. In short, a parasite organism takes advantage of its host. A parasite is an organism that lives on or in another kind of organism, referred to as the host, to get its nutrients or food. The parasite harms the host in the process and even cause its death. Look at the picture. For humans, head lice are very common parasites. If these small insects infest your head, they will suck your blood for its survival. Your head can get very itchy from the bites. In addition, lice infestation is very contagious. 
To check how well you understood the lesson, let us have a short exercise. Answer the following questions. 1. Which situation shows mutualism among organisms? A. A cat eating a rat. B. A bird riding on top of a carabao. The correct answer is letter B a bird riding on top of a carabao. The bird is given a free ride. In turn, the bird eats the ticks of the carabao. 2. Which situation shows predation? A. A snake eating a rat. B. A flea sucking a dog's blood. The correct answer is letter A. The snake attacking a rat to serve as its food. The snake is the predator, while the rat is the prey. 3. Which situation shows competition? A. A house lizard and a house spider fighting over a fly for lunch. B. A goat eating grass. The correct answer is letter A. The lizard and the spider compete for the food. 4. Which situation shows parasitism? A. A chicken eating a worm. B. A tick on a dog's fur. The correct answer is letter B. A tick is a parasite to the dog. 5. Which situation shows commensalism? A. A bee on a flower. B. A bird on a tree. The correct answer is letter B. A bird on a tree. The bird gets shelter and food from the tree while the tree is left unharmed. You are awesome. You've got them right.